Hello, my name is Kostas Sidiropoulos and I'm a software engineer in test chapter lead from Agile Actors. My today presentation has to do with how we integrated uh, accessibility testing into CI. So first of all, what is accessibility testing? Um, so testing uh, a web application in order to verify today that it is accessible from people with disabilities uh, has been very important. Uh, it is part of usability testing, and uh, this is uh, called actually web accessibility testing. Uh, why is it important? First of all, according to the World Health Organization, 15% of population has some kind of disability, so it's very important for these people to be able to access our, our website. Uh, one very common uh, a guideline that is being followed is Web Content Accessibility Guideline, and uh, this one covers a wide range of uh, recommendations in order to make our website accessible from people with uh, disabilities. It contains some uh, criteria that are written uh, as uh, testable statements, and uh, they are actually not technology specific. In the link that is being provided here, you can find this guide and you can check uh, what are these uh, statements and uh, what are these uh, criteria exactly. So the basic uh, principles, uh, according to the standard, is that uh, the elements have to be perceivable, opera operable, understandable, and robust. Of course, all of these principles are under some guidelines. There are about 13 guidelines that provide the, the basic goals that the, the web developers need to, to follow. And of course, these criteria, these uh, <coughs> guidelines, they also provide some success criteria. They are all testable and they are mostly provided uh, under three levels, uh, A, AA and AAA, which is the highest uh, criteria. And of course, uh, last but not least, there are some sufficient and advisory techniques uh, which are uh, uh, being documented in the document and uh, if um, one uh, web developer will uh, use them, then it would have some uh, uh, good level of accessibility to his or her website. So what was our problem? Uh, actually, we were trying to implement an uh, online lottery solution and this was for um, a state, uh, for the state of Illinois in the U.S. Uh, in the U.S., uh, especially for accessibility, the, <coughs> uh, the criteria they are very strict and we had very strict requirements. Actually, we needed to be at least uh, AA. And um, we wanted uh, to ensure that our website uh, was accessible from people with uh, disabilities. Uh, what we had was a test suite that we were having some functional tests that were exercising uh, our website standalone uh, with uh, its backend uh, uh, mocked. And uh, what we needed was that we needed to visit all our pages and we wanted to do some kind of uh, analysis there and verify that uh, every page. Uh, confronts with the criteria of, uh, of the standard. Of course, uh, another requirement that we had is that we wanted it to be part of our uh, continuous integration process, and uh, whenever a web developer would implement a, a new page, then uh, we would automatically have some uh, results about the accessibility of this uh, page, and uh, we wanted to have uh, a way in order to analyze the results and present it uh, to our web developers. So about tooling, what we found out was this uh, uh, library, AX, which is an open source uh, library for automated accessibility testing. It is lightweight, flexible, and secure. Uh, it actually had uh, no false positives, and uh, it is uh, as mentioned before, open source and actively maintained by the community. Uh, it has about a million downloads and it has been adopted by Google and Microsoft. In the link that I'm showing to you, you can uh, find the, the library and if you want, you can download it and play around with it. So, <clears throat> the solution that uh, we, we 
wanted to bring was that um, we would use, since we were using uh, Java-based uh, testing, and we were having actually uh, Zeb, which is a groovy wrapper around the Selenium web driver. Uh, especially for Java, we uh, have this uh, listener, the web driver event listener, which is actually an interface. And uh, this one would listen to some uh, certain events of Selenium web driver. So one of these events is uh, when a web driver would uh, navigate to a page. So uh, in this, uh, we, we implemented and we override the after navigate to method that uh, we had. And uh, in this method, we would use uh, eggs, as it's shown here below. And uh, we would um, analyze the page. And of course, we would produce some of our, uh, actually, the results that uh, the library would bring us. And we had the JSON file that would be a part of, the, of our continuous integration project. So here, after we had implemented our listener, we would use the event firing web driver. And the event firing web driver, which is a wrapper around uh, web driver, we would register our uh, accessibility uh, event listener. So uh, using uh, this one, we would be able to have the results whenever we had a, a new page, and actually, when someone would implement a new page, uh, we wouldn't need to do anything. We wouldn't need to implement any new test. And what, we, what actually was needed was just to start a uh, web driver, and we would have this uh, uh, event listener uh, register. So without any further effort, we would have our new results there. So for now, the result is pretty much a JSON file, but we are actually working on parts of the JSON file and producing a more readable uh, HTML report. Um, here is one of these um, results that we had. So I have uh, marked the most important uh, parts of this uh, JSON file. And for example, here we have some uh, elements that uh, didn't have sufficient color contrast. In the HTML part, we can uh, find which one, uh, which uh, element in the HTML uh, was having this problem. So every time uh, a developer could find uh, easily the, the element in the UI. And of course, we can find some uh, uh, tags that we can see here, and these tags actually show us the, at which level this um, uh, problem actually is. So it, is, it belongs to the AA level. And um, also, we can see that there is um, another tag that is called w, here it is WCG143. And this is actually, if you find uh, the guide that, uh, with the link that we saw before, you can actually go to the paragraph 1.4.3, and you can find more uh, uh, information about the actual problem here. So the last one is that uh, this is a pretty much simple solution, and we didn't need to do anything else. Every time, as mentioned before, our, the developer would implement a new web page uh, here, she would be able to have these results as part of the uh, CI process. So if you are interested in uh, solving such kind of engineering problems, we have several positions for software engineering tests at Agile Actors. And if everyone is interested, then you know where to find us at our booth. Thank you very much. <laughs>